Hi, my name is Glenn Smith, founder and CEO of Fragile Jaja. We specialize in helping organizations develop, gain funding for, and govern the execution of a roadmap for their technology. This requires a clear understanding of the target state for their business and technology systems that are required in order to support their business strategy. This is often referred to as the beacon on the hill or North Star in marketing parlance or consulting speak these days. Just by having this target state and roadmap, we would argue, greatly helps fill the divide that many organizations face. How do we make our strategy executable? Firstly, it's important to stress that while any roadmap won't survive contact with the real world or the enemy to revert to the original military quote, we strongly feel it's better to have one and update it periodically than have no idea where you're heading or how to get there. Of course, these days, this request is most often expressed to us as we need our digital transformation roadmap, which in our opinion is basically just a business transformation roadmap done well. I mean, who's going to do an analog transformation in the uh, 21st century after all? We're naturally delighted to do this work. It is our sweet spot after all, but there's a few prerequisites required in our opinion for the roadmap if it is to be executable or shovel ready, as we like to say. What do we mean by that? Accurate and sufficiently linked to strategy and benefits to gain senior executive and board support. Basically, be of high quality and get the dollars approved. Let's work backwards through our proven approach for developing these uh, roadmaps to understand these key prerequisites. Noting that if you don't have any of them already, we're naturally help, uh, happy to help work with you to address any gaps. The first thing is the target state must be clearly defined. You can't build a roadmap to nowhere or to somewhere vague after all. We believe there are three components to this. Otherwise, where is the roadmap taking you? The first is an understanding of what solutions you need and what business capabilities they need to support, as shown in this picture. The second is a conceptual target state architecture depicting how those systems will work together to deliver on your business strategy. Finally, a graphically appealing picture of that target state to support executive communication, what we refer to jokingly as architecture at Fragile to Agile. The next thing you'll need is a clear understanding of your starting point. You can't map a journey to your target if you don't know where you're starting from. This is achieved by overlaying your current systems onto a business capability model, and we'll talk about what that is in a minute, and then addressing qualitatively or quantitatively how well these systems support you today and your future business strategy. Irrespective of being needed to support roadmap development, this activity can deliver immediate value and insight to your current systems. For example, material gaps in technology support, opportunities for systems rationalization that can often lead to simplification and cost reduction. For large and complex or multi-business unit organizations, you'll need to understand your operating model. And specifically what that means for which capabilities should be standardized across the organization and which capabilities need to be different in different business units. Missing this step in is, is in our opinion and experience a key root cause of the failure of many attempted at transformations or the failure of an individual technology project within that transformation. Next thing you need is a stable model of the business, suitable to understand the current state and plan and design that target state. This is a key tool, referred to as a business capability model, or BCM for short. It's a model of what your business does rather than how it's done, a process model, or who does it, an org structure model. As what you do changes much less frequently than how you do it or who does it, this makes this model the ideal planning and design vehicle to develop a target state and roadmap to drive business and technology alignment. If you try to align to a process or organizational structure view of your business, you're effectively aligning to jelly, and this approach has proven to be fundamentally flawed. Finally, in addition to its immediate value in supporting the development of a target state and a roadmap, the business capability model will also be a powerful ongoing planning and design tool for your organization. Many of our clients continue to use and gain considerable value for this tool a decade or more after its delivery. Fragile to Agile are proud that we were the pioneers of this approach in Australia and remain market and thought leaders. Next thing you need is a clear articulation of the business strategy in measurable, smart, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, or timely, and not ambiguous outcomes. Basically a statement of what good looks like for your organization. 
This provides a justification as well as clear traceability of the target stated roadmap back to your strategy. This activity is crucial to connecting the target stated roadmap to the strategy and thereby communicating this to the people who will need to fund it. And then of course to the people who will need to deliver on that vision when executing the roadmap. Once all complete, the combination enables you to produce a powerful one-page communication vehicle for the transformation. Summarizing, where are we now? Where do we need to be? What do we need to get there? And how do we make it happen? It's worth adding that a particular value add to a fragile to agile roadmap is in addition to the target stated roadmap being driven by and traceable back to your business strategy or your business intent, Fragile to Agile roadmaps recognize that change is a new black in the world and a key component of any such transformation is at the end your organization should be materially more agile, adaptable and flexible. It's in our name after all, it's part of our reason for existing. Done well, it will be the large, last large scale transformation you will need as thereafter you'll be set up for continuous improvement and a more agile delivery approach. Finally, we believe one of the critical success factors for a successful execution is to have a consistent framework covering all domains of design. Our integrated architecture framework shown here, debatably the oldest such framework in the world, which has stood the test of time and remained unchanged for 23 years. And by that we mean we've been able to find a home in the framework for every aspect of the design of an organization without change ever since its inception. And it is public commons IP, and it provides the final tool you will need to drive successful, successful execution and governance of the program. Reach out via any of our channels and we would love the opportunity to explain any of the content in this video to you in more detail, discuss your specific challenges and how the above approach could help address them. Thank you for your time and I hope it was of value.